It's one of life's great mysteries. How do you get the words to appear in a stick of rock? Well, here at Dokra's Rock Factory in Great Yarmouth, they've been making the lickable letters for more than 120 years, after Stephen Dokra's grandfather William started the business in 1896. Anyone can come along and watch, and now the shop's starring in one of the town's new tourism videos in recognition of their historic sweet success. You get grandparents come in now whose grandparents brought them in to watch it, and um, as far as making rocks concerned, that hasn't changed since my grandfather um, did it. I can't see any reason why this shop won't be here for uh, another 50 years. I mean, we, we always said it's Yarmouth's longest running show, so. Um, you know, even now when we cut right back, there's still four performances a day. This shop's been occupied by the Dockers since 1922, and they've produced rock here ever since. It's also where they make their chocolate and their fudge, and they stock biscuits made by John Bull in Bridlington, the company that bought the family firm in 2012. But the rock's still bringing in most customers and makes up around 75% of their sales. Nowadays, they create roughly 25,000 sticks of it a week, an impressive output, but nothing compared to their heydays in the 60s when they had a factory producing around 120,000. The tourism films highlight other parts of coastal life, including Caister Lifeboat and the Hippodrome Circus. But tourism bosses said they couldn't miss out their sugary celebrity. Rock's just really fun, isn't it? And it's absolutely the epitome of traditional seaside souvenirs. And so when we were thinking about these, we just thought, absolutely, we definitely want to have a video that shows how you make rock and what goes in. I think it's really interesting, but I also think it's something that makes everybody smile and that absolutely everybody can relate to, because who hasn't been bought a stick of rock back from the seaside at some point in their life? Well, they approached me, basically, they were looking for um, businesses that have been traditionally associated with Great Yarmouth. I think it started a few years ago. I know there's been changes, but I'm, I'm proud of this town. It, it's a fabulous holiday resort. And you, if you don't have advertising, you're not going to get people to come here. So anything that we could do, I mean, yeah, yeah, fine, all for it. So let's solve that candy conundrum of the letters. Well, they simply fold sheets of sugar that are coloured differently into the right shapes. Here's a Y for Yarmouth and an R for rock. This big roll is then squeezed and stretched until it looks a bit more like this. A long string that's cut up to make stacks and stacks of sticks filled with that famous seaside sweetness. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Great Yarmouth.